of looking at this. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, you could do the exact same thing that I did on the last problem for this problem. However, I think you guys would agree, if you want to do the prime factorization 100, you know, it's like a bigger factor tree. And then writing out x to the eighth is a lot. You can still do it. And if that's the way you understand and that's the way you want to do it, that's perfectly fine. However, I also want you guys to understand that you understand that the square root of x times x is equal to x, correct? Yeah. Well, we can also rewrite this. Instead of writing them as the x is separate, you can also represent them as the square root of x squared. The square root of x squared is also equal to x. It's just a different way to represent it. So basically what I want to do is see, can I represent 100 and x to the eighth as numbers squared? Well, I can represent 100 as 10 squared. And x to the eighth, I can represent that as x squared times x squared times x squared times x squared. Why? Because remember the rules of exponents state when you multiply exponents, what do you do with the powers? You add them. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Now, again, I can take the square root of each of these. The square root of 10 squared is just going to be 10. The square root of x squared, the square root of x squared is x. 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 So my final answer is 10x to the fourth.